Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. Several great shows are coming to the area in the next few months. It's an amazing lineup, like truly. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. And here to break down the entire schedule, today's sponsor, State Farm Center, Brad Swanson is with, with us. Okay, we obviously aren't going to hit on everything that, yeah, that's there's coming. Too much. <laughs> but what is coming that we're going to talk about sounds amazing. Yeah. Let's start with what's coming next week, actually Cirque Dreams Holidays. Yeah, so uh, this is a new show for us. It's not something we've uh, brought here to town before. Um, they're affiliated with the Cirque du Soleil brand that people may be familiar with in Las Vegas, um, but this is specifically a holiday themed version of that. So as you can see here on the footage, you know, it's acrobatics and juggling and music and uh, singing and dancing and all sorts of different things. Um, it's supposed to just kind of be an immersive experience that uh, will have you in the holiday spirit by the time it's over. Wow. Uh, already so, feeling it. Yeah. So, <laughs> My, I have three members of my own family coming down from the Chicago area to oh, go to it wow. just because they think it sounds interesting and unique. Well, I mean, so. we're bringing Vegas. I was yeah. just going <laughs> to say, it's something right. that you don't normally get around here. Exactly, yeah. And frankly, we're probably the only venue really downstate that could handle yeah. something like that. So, so tickets are still available. Yep, so tickets are available. Um, they're inexpensive. They start at less than $30 plus fees. So very much a family-friendly show something we would encourage people to, you know, Come check bring out. their kids out and yeah. Okay. Especially if you have family coming in for the holidays, yeah, just yeah. take them to the show. Exactly. Yeah. So. This is your early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's one we're real excited okay, about. Okay, we're also excited about Our Planet Live, which was just announced this morning. Yep, we announced that one this morning. So again, something a little bit different for us. Um, people may be familiar with Our Planet, the series that is very popular on Netflix. It's an eight-part documentary series that is one of the top 10 most watched series in the history of Netflix. Um, this is a live version of it. So they will have a large HD screen on stage and there will be a live orchestra actually performing the orchestrations, the, the scores that people are used to seeing in, in the Netflix series. So um, super high quality video, um, it's narrated by Sir David Attenborough, who is kind of the voice of nature, if you will. He, <laughs> he, he does all these different documentaries. But as you can see, you know, just the, the footage itself is stunning. Um, and then kind of couple that with the live orchestra. We think it's another unique uh, opportunity to, to have a show that we don't really get the opportunity to do very frequently. So. Yeah. Um, so that one is coming up in late March. Um, March 27th. And, yep, and we, like you said, we announced that this morning. Tickets aren't on sale yet for that one. They'll go on sale next Wednesday at 10 a.m. All right, set your calendars. No yeah. live animals, though. No live animals. <laughs> yeah. the Not 3D. The orchestra is all that will be on stage. So, right. But uh, live music with, with some of the more popular uh, video elements that, that were part of uh -huh. the show. Very fun. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I'm excited about this one, Casting Crowns. Yes, yeah, so Casting Crowns, people who may or may not be familiar, is a, a Christian group. Um, they've been popular for a long, long time. Yes. <laughs> um, they've they've had some real staying power. We announced this show a week ago on Friday, and those tickets went on sale this morning, so those are available now to the public. Anybody interested can check that out on our website at statefarmcenter.com. And so. I'm excited for the next <laughs> one. Oh, look, I'm like rushing oh, no, to get to it. No. The Harlem Globetrotters yep. are coming. So January 11th yes. is the Globetrotters. Um, they, they're a show that we bring in pretty much every year. Uh, we missed them a couple years there with COVID, I think. Um, but great family-friendly entertainment. Um, you know, nobody leaves a Globetrotters event unhappy or without a smile on their face so okay i'm uh, gonna put a little i'm just gonna plant a seed right now brad mm -hmm. uh -oh. um i think <laughs> I'm scared. sarah would make a magnificent um celebrity addition to the harlem globetrotter like, team like when they we come did down. With, yes with tim, <laughs> tim did it last time i totally think sarah you could do it i i will say when you guys were over to film yeah, our, your, our uh, bracket. your bracket stuff 
she nailed the first shot. Yes. She so, I mean, yes. look like I don't know. Tell you, you buy basketball, watch out. <laughs> I think it was the uh, the shoes you had on that day. Yeah, it was definitely the ones, the Jordans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we've got two more events we have to throw out there, but I'm just planting that seed now. Yep. Um, Old Dominion. Old Dominion. Country fans oh, are going to be ready for that. Yeah. Uh, they'll be in town January 20th. Um, that's part of a real busy week for us. The day before, we have Indiana basketball. Oh. The Hoosiers come to town to play our men's team. Then the next day on the 20th, uh, Old Dominion's here. Uh, people, I, I like to say, Old Dominion has so many hits that you probably don't realize are theirs. Um, they've toured pretty extensively with Kenny Chesney over the oh. last maybe five, six, seven years. Um, so if you've ever gone and seen Kenny live, you've probably seen Old Dominion. <laughs> on stage just before him, um, but super energetic show, uh, lots of fun. I, I think that's a show you're not going to want to miss. Um, it's a very beachy uh, vibe. Well, no bad here. vibes, Brad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no bad vibes <laughs> is the name of the tour. So it'll be January 20th if it's a little cold. Come on over to State Farm Center. Yes. Go. Warm up a little bit. We're taking a little bit of a turn here yes. with WWE <laughs> Road to WrestleMania. So another uh, group that comes to town pretty consistently. We've, we've had them uh, each of the last couple of years, so we're excited to have them back again. Uh, this is a house show. It's not one that will be on TV, um, but it is kind of in their lead up to their WrestleMania event that is... Uh, you know, their biggest event of the year every year. And uh, that one is a Saturday night, uh, February 25th. So uh, should be a lot of fun uh, again. Let's um, get ready to rumble. <laughs> right. <laughs> should we see about having a... Sarah, <laughs> I'll be Actually, let me plant the seed for Heather to be your guest star on that one. Since <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, I could do it. Ronda Rousey. There you the go. Face. Yeah. <laughs> Heather versus Rhonda. Absolutely not. I would pay. <laughs> Oh, my word, y'all are getting in trouble here. Well, so many great, great shows, great events coming to the State Farm Center. All of the information, website? StateFarmCenter.com. Okay, it's perfect. It's all there. Um, because there are so many events, they may not all be on the front page. So just okay. click on See All Events, and it'll take you to there the full lineup. All right. It's well, um, full. <laughs> yes, we will have all that information in the link over at CILiving.tv. Brad, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah.